the promise of God, conceived of the Holy Spirit and born of a teenager's womb. His body now lay in this cold, dark vault called a tomb. My mind is racing, thoughts escape me. I look up at an overcast sky and I'm filled with nothing but dread. The only purpose of this place is to house, not the living, but the dead. Fear plagues my mind, I can't seem to take it all in. Jesus, lover of my soul, my savior, my redeemer, my friend. Just yesterday I walked and I talked with him. Now he lays there dead? I refuse to accept it. No, not him. But he hung his head and died upon that cross. I believe love won that day for the broken, for the sinner, and for the lost. Why, God, why there was so much more that needed to be done. Nevertheless, it is not my will, but yours. Born of the Spirit was he, he was my God, but your son. As the thunder rolled and the veil from the top to the bottom was ripped into two, my heart sank, I just knew. Was it the beginning of the end? No, it was payment for mankind's sin. Sin yet to be committed by a generation yet to be born and a people yet to know this man who was born just to die. Why? Oh, I know. It was love that hung on that tree. It was love with arms stretched out wide for you and for me. It was for love that he hung his head and died. It is finished. Don't you see the crown of thorns upon his head? The place where the sword pierced his side? Why? I remember you're a holy, righteous God and no sin can dwell in your presence. So he took upon himself my sin, my guilt, and my shame. I've been set free, no condemnation, as long as I trust in his name. Now his body lays in this dark, empty space. If I could, if I could just see him one more time to behold his glory and to look upon his face. But a stone covers the entrance and as much as I try, I can't get in. I just want to be with him. Who can I run to? Who can I tell? Maybe, maybe if we put a light in there, but wait, he is the light of this world and in him, darkness could never dwell.